are you going to be able to uh, and will you play Linkin Park songs in and amongst the live shows as well and maybe some four minor things you know I was originally I was saying like no I'm not going to do very much of that because I don't want to like cross the I don't want to confuse people yeah. across the streams and they'll be like great what is this is this supposed to be a Linkin Park show or something at Mike Shinoda show like what are you doing but then the more I talked to people they were kind of like if I came to your show and I didn't see some but I didn't hear some Linkin Park stuff I'd be pissed at you <laughs> look I could do like uh, there's there's a universe of possibilities like I, I could do covers but why would I do covers when I can do a couple songs that I actually wrote and, and perform vocals on? Have you discussed with your friends what the future of the band feels like? Um, yeah, we've, I mean, we talk, you know, I get texts and calls from the guys, like, um, and emails and stuff from, from everybody every couple of days or so. Do you think you'll um, carry on? I mean, have you, have you had that a discussion as honest as that? We have a lot of questions to answer in terms of how to do that. Like, it'd be one thing, like, if we said, hey, do you want to go into the studio and just write some new stuff? That's like the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, we can do that. Um, but then what happens after that? You know, like that's the part where it's like a big question mark. Like I don't want to get out on stage. And if it's just the five of us, how are we going to play one step closer? You know what I mean? If it's just the five of us, like there's certain songs that I feel like I want the fans. The fans are going to want to hear and I want to play. And I don't know how to do that. Right. So. And of course, some people will say, well, just bring another, bring some other person. And it's like, yeah, that's a nice idea, but there's a lot to that. You there know, is. it's more than just the voice, which number one, nobody has a voice like Chester's. So that's a huge hurdle. And maybe it's not a person. Maybe it's a combination of things. I don't know what it is. And that's, this is all just me talking. If you talk to Brad, if you talk to Dave, Rob, Joe, like you probably get other ideas and other, cause it's, it's. The other part of it, by the way, is just uh, you have to like go on tour with the person. Like, what if they're just a shitty person? My gut tells me that by doing this solo record, by being out there, out on festivals, out on shows, you'll unravel at, it. You know, in the world, it affords me a greater chance that I will figure those things out naturally.